Welcome back to DK Sports Radio. You're listening to The Steelers Show. I'm Chris Carter, NFL analyst here with Dale Lolly, NFL beat writer. And Dale, it's great to have you back in the stud because it's been a minute, man. We, ha- we haven't had you on since before the draft. Has it been that long? It's been that long, Dale. Okay, if you yeah. say so. <laughs> and uh, and there, as always, our Steelers coverage here on DK Sports Radio is brought to you by Henny Jewelers. Henny Jewelers, your jewelers on Walnut Street and Shady Side. Henny Jewelers, your jewelers for life. Now, getting into it, Dale, we we we've we've you and I have covered uh, at Agnosium the 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 Steelers draft picks and the evaluation and their undrafted free agents who we're still going over. And I got a Matthew Thomas, the guy that got out of Florida State, article coming up this Friday. Um, but. Um, we, you know, we, we've been talking about these guys, but I think this is the first time that we've been in here to be able to talk about on this on this show a recap of the Steelers' picks. Um, but forget all that. I wanted to get down to something, the bare knuckles of of something that we that we talk about. Dale, as you guys know, says that he's always right and I'm always wrong. Well, because I'm right about that. I went, I went and tabulated. We did dueling mock drafts. I went and tabulated every single pick. That the, the two of us did in our dueling mock drafts between each other, and I won that 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 point. I, I find g- that very hard to believe. Because here's the thing: I gave us each a point if the player we picked, in, and you can get double the points if you get if you pick the same player in the same spot in both in both ones. But you get a point if that player gets selected in the first round. You get a point if you pick them in the right spot, and you get a point if you pick them to the right team. So that way, if a team trades and moves around, as long as you match them with the right team, you get the point. As long as you put them in the right spot, you get a point. If you get all three, you get all three points for for that player in that round. And I won. I counted it all up. You can check my math. It's literally on this notepad right in front of Dale. I read can't read your. I can't read your chicken scratch. <laughs> What are you talking it's about? It's sitting right there, man. It's simple. It's got the. It's got the names. It's I got see the a numbers. twenty-five and a twenty-five. Well, that's uh, yeah. That's me counting twenty-five, twenty-five, fifty. 50. I was doing. I was doing check marks to move through. It's sixty-seven to fifty-eight. My favor. I win. I find that very hard to believe. But I will say that we both did get six between our two uh, mock drafts. We both did get six completely correct picks in in, in them. Um, Which people need to understand. That that's actually. Pretty good. I yeah, mean, I think is, if you go pretty through pretty Mel Kuyper's draft, he, he you're not, not going to get them. And this was a more volatile draft. Uh, trades were all over the place than any that I've covered in a long, long time. It, it really, um, the trades, the quarterbacks going in the first round, uh, teams moving around for that, teams jockeying around for guys that they wanted, uh, and just the overall depth of the draft made it very interesting. Uh, I was doing radio. All throughout the draft, and I, I kept mentioning that, that that there was just so much trading going on. You, yeah. Even into the later rounds, you saw teams trading picks to get up ahead of people, as the Steelers did with Mason Rudolph. Right, and it's just it's, that's one reason why you could never, no one can ever predict the first round to be even the first. The round. teams can't even do yeah, it. Yeah, they can't do it because you never know what someone's true intentions are. Um, I will say uh, our correct pick, your 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 completely correct picks were in the fir- in their first mock draft. You had Barkley at two to the Giants. You had Darno at three to the Jets, um, and I think you had a third one. You had DJ Moore to the Panthers. That was that was a, that was a nice one. Um, and then you had Barkley again to the Giants in your second one. You had Leighton Van Der Esch to the Chargers. That was a really good one. And you had uh, Billy Price uh, to the to the Bengals. So th- those were yours. I got five incorrect in my first one and only one in my second. Well, wait a second now. Now you're changing. I thought you were talking just about the the, the final draft. That's yes. the one that counts. No, we're That's talking the main, about both oh, of them. Oh, you don't get to count them all. Yes, you no, do. No, you don't. We're doing, we did two oh, dueling now mocks. You're, now, you're, now you're changing the target there. We're it's doing, the, I, the I final mock. every single one that we did in our dueling no, mocks. No, the final mock's the only one that counts. Well, if you would have told me that beforehand, I would have made my final mock my best mock. I literally picked, I literally said, okay, I'm just going to pick Josh Allen at number two just because I did Barkley at number, at number two that's last time. That's your fault. The that, final that, mock is no, the final no, mock. No, it's not. Because that's the one that we comes out. We did two dueling that, mocks that we experimented with. There's no experimentation. Yes, there was. Yes, there you know, was. We're not step. teenagers. We're guy. not experimenting. Come on. He's upset because I got more right. My first no. one had five fully correct picks. I had you, then you changed them. I've had, I had Barkley You changed two, your mind. Darno at Jets at three. I had Nelson at six to the Colts. That, that doesn't count. Correct. You that, that changed was, was them. I had you changed Chubb the picks. at five to the Broncos. You changed your picks. And my stab in the dark was Mike Hughes to the Vikings at You changed 30. your that picks. Was, that was perfect. Change your picks. And I had Leighton Van Der Esch correct at, to, to the Chargers. So in your face, I beat you, Dale. I'll beat you again no, you in, our, in our next segment right after these messages. Miller Lite is the original light beer. 
and we'll always brew it to have more taste with only 96 calories and 3.2 carbs. Because we believe that if you compromise on taste, you can taste the compromise. Miller Lite, hold true. Great beer, great responsibility. 2018 Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Average analysis, 12 fluid ounces. Less than one gram protein, zero grams fat. If you're one of the thousands of Western Pennsylvanians who love to get outdoors, then you need to check out this cool new website, stepoutside.org. Learn where, when, and how you can go camping, hiking, or hunting. Or take part in power sports, shooting sports, or water sports in your local community or across the country at stepoutside.org, where everything you need to know is just a click away. That's stepoutside.org. What I want from my public accounting firm is big ideas. But I don't want to lose the personal attention. My company needs global capabilities. From a firm with local ownership. And I want to work with industry experts. Who take the time to understand my unique challenges. And that's what sets Schneider Downs apart. Expertise for the most complex business issues. With the service you need every day. To learn how our big thinking with a personal focus can help your company, visit schneiderdowns.com. Injured in an accident? Need assistance in preserving your business's interests? Let the attorneys at Bassey Vreeland & Associates protect your legal rights. For over 65 years, Bassey Vreeland & Associates has been representing the citizens and businesses of southwestern Pennsylvania. With offices strategically located in Washington and Shalleroy, Bassey Vreeland & Associates can deliver results for you throughout the Pittsburgh area. Visit www.bmvlaw.com or call 724-228-7000 to see how Bassey Vreeland & Associates can meet your legal needs. Bassey Vreeland & Associates we fight, we care, we win. Welcome back to DK Sports Radio. You're listening to The Steelers Show here with Chris Carter and Dale Lolly. Um, we, were, we were just joking around and talking about our mock drafts. Um, we have to give a quick shout out to our other sponsors, mybookie.ag, mybookie.ag, your place online, whether mobile or on your computer, to go and, and to do online sports betting. They have, there's a lot of baseball going on right now. Baseball is in full swing. You can also bet on the NHL playoffs as those play out in the conference finals. There's also the NBA conference finals. Lots of great stuff. Golf's, golf's getting into the major season, um, but lots of great stuff on mybookie.ag. Don't forget to use DK, DK Sports Radio or DK Radio, excuse me, as your promo code to to get um, to get to get a bonus um, when you sign up for mybookie.ag, you play, you win, you get paid. Now, Dale, um, I think one topic we'll get into before we get into our last segment of this show. Um, you went to rookie camp, as you and I both know, and we will tell everyone, rookie camp is not really much anything. It's it's football. It's less than football in shorts, which is what Mike Tomlin describes OTAs. Now, but here's here, but out of this, we can talk about some of the players that are coming into this rookie camp. Um, that might have been oh, that were definitely overlooked in the draft. Um, are there any guys that you that you saw and that you were thinking that have might have a shot to make the team or linger around the practice squad to get on the team if, if injuries happen? No, you don't, you don't <laughs> think there's a single guy in this. Seriously, team, I, on I, 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 there's so little that comes out of rookie minicamp. Mm -hmm. They're just trying to get them to line up correctly. Right. I mean, these okay. guys, these guys are 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 complete newbies out there and in some cases as was the case with the uh, tight end that I wrote about mm -hmm. um uh you know the the kid from England yeah um he that was the first practice he'd ever gone through that's pretty crazy football practice so you know there there's there's some of that you're just trying to get these guys acclimated before the veterans show up next week mm -hmm. and then you see what sticks with you know who who retains the most mm -hmm. from those practice sessions and then who who then takes that and builds upon it and mm -hmm. starts playing more at speed. Right. Yes, Mason Rudolph and, and James Washington connected on some passes, but you would expect them to do that. Yeah, when they've they've played with each other. For, like, what, four years? Yeah, so, so yeah. you know, other than that, there's really nothing to take out of it. Do, do you think that – so, like, because so like, my thinking is that, do you think there's a chance that Quadri Henderson can, can, can make the – have a shot at the roster as, a, as at least a return man? I don't see it. I, I just don't. Um, I, yeah, he was a talented college player. Uh, but is he a receiver? Yeah, and that's the thing is that is and, he a, is he a running and, back? And What's he, he, where does he play? And can can he challenge anyone on the Steelers' depth? Card? I just don't see it. You're Unless not, he, you know, if he goes out and gets a chance to return some kicks or punts in the preseason, and he and he lights it up and breaks a couple, yeah, okay. Um, but you know, he was disappointing 
um, at the combine. Uh, I thought he would run faster than what yeah, he did. Same. He was a four or five guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you would think that he would be a lot faster than what he was right. uh, because of the success that he had running jet sweeps mm-hmm. and those kind of things. And it just didn't translate. Yeah, it didn't translate. And that kind of stuff often doesn't translate to the NFL. That's part of the, one of the reasons that several college superstars will, will flame out in, in, in the pros. But uh, I, I do think there's interesting. I, I did a, I did a study piece on Matt Tom on Matthew Thomas, the guy out of Florida State. So I, he led Florida State in tackles his final two years. But when you just look at all the things that add up, he had injury concerns. He had two suspensions. One was academic probation after his mom died. But still, um, you know, he had he had some issues. And then on, on the field, he he looked like he was a bone he was a bonehead in, in many plays. He would hit guys after fair catch signals were called. Um, his one interception that he had in his entire career, he had an easy touchdown. Was walking into the end zone. Started started dancing, tripped over himself, and then was down at the one-yard line. Yeah. And then was penalized for celebrating afterwards because he thought, again, that he scored. And it, it was it was so bad it was on the, the Sports Center, not top ten when it happened. Yeah, that's not a good, uh, a good sign. And, you know, the thing is with the inside linebacker position, and I know everybody falls in love with the tackle numbers and those kind of things, uh, but that doesn't necessarily translate to them being a great NFL player yeah. just because you had a bunch of tackles in college because somebody has to have the tackles. Yeah, and that's the thing is that when you're in the middle of a college defense, often there's those lanes that open up and you get a free shot at a running back. And unless you're playing an elite running back, often that's pretty much a straightforward play you're expected to make. Um, that's the thing, Matthew Thomas. When I looked at his tape, Dale, he looked like he could move in into the hole, and he could he he had the speed to get from one spot, from point A to point B. But the problem was often when he would get there, he'd hesitate if he saw a blocker in the way, and he wouldn't know how to how to do. It. I mean, and guys wouldn't even take him full on; they would just dive at his legs, and he wouldn't be able to deal with a chop and keep it moving, like we saw Van, uh, Van Der Esch do very well for Boise State. So, I mean, that's that's my thing with Thomas. He's he's got a, he's a long he has a long hill to climb. To yeah. it's going to come down to special teams for guys like that, right? And and one thing that I saw it. If he didn't see the play in front of him, often his effort lacked, and that's where a lot of people were like, we're, we'll, we'll pass on this guy despite being six foot two, 232 pounds. Yeah, it's all about want to. And, and, you know, when guys get to this level and they start looking at, okay, if I don't make it in the NFL, what am I going to do? Right. Sometimes that can flip the switch a little bit for them. That's true. We'll see if that happens with him. Uh, there's obviously he's he's – Got some competition there to make this team roster, though. Certainly will. Before we go, we got to do our, our favorite segment. It's time for going deep on social media. Oh, we're going to do that again. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we got so uh, for those who, who who don't remember or haven't haven't heard this yet, we uh, I pick I picked a random tweet or series of tweets um, from uh, a current or former Steeler, and Dale has to guess who it is based off of hearing the tweet from the voice of Twitter or the voice of social media. Sometimes we'll have Instagram in there, but. I'm, uh, in the past, I've let I've let the kind of answer just mill out there, and he gets clues. Today, we have a multiple choice question, so there won't be any hints this time. Dale just has to figure it out. But voice of Twitter, can you read today's tweets? If you wait on me to hit you up, you might be waiting till yo grave. Shrug emoji. And if I don't hear from you in a while, it's still love. I expect you to be chasing your dreams and goals. Next tweet, I was speaking to the universe as a youngin, didn't even know the power in it. Thinking emoji, I grew up and had to relearn how to do that. Hashtag hindsight. All right, so there's your tweet, Dale. That's it. So I'm going to give you four guys you could choose from. Was it A, Vince Williams? Was it B, Jonathan Dwyer? Was it C, Marquise Pouncey? Or was it D, Xavier Grimble? Jonathan Dwyer, come on, man! Yeah, man, <laughs> come on! How about somebody who's relevant in the world? <laughs> Jonathan Dwyer, the dude, fell off the map, but he's got to be relevant somehow. Our Bud Dwyer is more relevant oh, to that damn. guy. <laughs> Bud Dwyer, ouch! I'm gonna say Vince Williams. Incorrect. The answer was Xavier Grimble. Ha! That's two don't times. Pay. Again, in I don't, a row. another guy who's not on Bing. my pay no mind list. Bing. He Down. might as well be. Down. He might as well be. D- Dwyer. <laughs> but he's a hey man. Dwyer. At least he's caught like a touchdown or two over the past couple seasons. <laughs> but Dude's not even active most of the time. Dale is now two and two in going deep. I'm taking over. I'm telling you, Dale, now and, and you did it to yourself. You made it multiple. You could have asked, like, is he offense or defense? What school did he come from? But no, you wanted multiple choice, and now I'm sticking it to you. So there you go. Ha! Take that. Dale loses again. Chris wins. I'm 2-0 today. I beat you in the I draft. I won the draft. I, I beat you in the I draft. I won the draft. And I beat you on going deep. I won the draft. Who had, <laughs> who had the better 
last draft that who we did. Who cares? Who, ha- who cares? That's the one that matters. Oh, please. That's the one that matters. You know, does, does it matter? Okay, <laughs> so when the White Sox win the last game of their regular season, is, are they going to celebrate Who wins that? the championship? Who wins the Super Bowl? The, the team that wins the game before the Super Bowl <laughs> or the team that wins the Super <laughs> Bowl? It's, it's, it's That's why it's Bowl. called this the Super the Bowl. This is the regular season. We're building up. This is no. the final contest. That's Get no. out of here, man. It's the last one. It's Whatever. not the, both last ones. I, I did four of them. I did four drafts. And I should get all bunch of points for all four. You don't get all I gave you the two You're dueling mocks. Picking and choosing what you want. I mix those I things up on purpose. Dueling, I gave the, the two that we did head to head where we had the, literally the Street Fighter Mortal Kombat pose. The second one is the one that matters. Oh, whatever. Anyways. I won. You anyways, lost. <laughs> this has been the Steelers Show from Chris Cotter and Dale Lolly. Thanks for listening, everyone. If you want to keep listening to uh, DK Sports Radio, we have a lot of great content coming your way. This is Chris Carter and Dale Lolly signing off.